Depending on your device's functions, Cortana can make calls, send messages, open apps and perform a number of other tasks. Currently these functions are a little limited, but they're only set to expand as Cortana's integrated into more apps. Indeed, with her fully integrated into Windows 10, the chances are she will be universal across all apps. Unfortunately, we're only using a tablet, so calls and messaging is a little limited, but we'll still give it a shot and see what Cortana says. So let's kick off with what we know isn't going to work. Hey Cortana, call Tony. Sorry, but I can only make calls from a phone. So that isn't going to work. Message Tony. I'm sorry, but I can only help send text messages hmm. from a phone. So let's try it with an email. Hey Cortana, email Tony. What's your email about? Cortana videos. What's your message? Hey Tony, get these Cortana videos finished. Here's your email. Send it, add more, or make changes. Send. I've sent it. Okay, so that seemed to be successful. Uh, should probably have double checked the email as it currently is telling Tony to, hey Tony, get your coat and these videos finished. But if he doesn't get these videos finished, he'll have to get his coat anyway. Hey Cortana, open YouTube. Now that I think about it, we probably don't have YouTube installed. Open Internet Explorer. Okay, starting Internet Explorer. She's having a little bit of a hiccup here. Hmm. But yeah, she's opening Internet Explorer. We'll just cancel that because who really uses Internet Explorer? Hey Cortana, open WordPad. Okay. So there we go, she's open WordPad, but of course she'll only open programs that she recognises the name of, so that's probably a little limited, and also of course programs that we've got installed, which uh, as this is a fresh install of Windows 10, isn't that many. Hey Cortana, open the store. Alright, here's store. Okay, so that's another program opened. Uh, I don't think she can do audio commands from in here, but let's give her a shot, you never know your luck. Hey Cortana, download Facebook. Hey Cortana, download Age of Empires Castle Siege. Yeah, no. But yes, the bigger apps she can find. So Facebook, Twitter both seem to be there. Struggling with some other ones. Uh, one last one, I've been trying games. Now, I haven't had much success, but if there's one game they're gonna have, it is. Hey Cortana, download Minecraft. Nope, still nothing. So. Not a surprise, I believe that actually goes live after we're filming this, so there's a chance it's just simply not there. Um, but we'll continue to come back to that and see if we have any more luck. She's able to do other things, more specifically. Hey Cortana, find fake document. Now as it happens, that is there is just the name of a, a document in here called fake text. She's not been intelligent enough to find a made up document, it's just the name of it. So she can find file names. Obviously providing they're clear. Hey Cortana, turn on airplane mode. Airplane mode is now on. Now that seems really clever. However, what you also find is, hey Cortana, download Twitter. Basically, I just disconnected her brain. I can't connect at the moment. Leaving me, again in a little bit. Leaving me with the only option being, hey Cortana, turn off airplane mode. There we go. So that, once that's off, she's got the internet again and is able to help. Hey Cortana, play a song. Alright, shuffling your music. Sorry, there's no music on your device. Yeah, yeah, uh, as I said, fresh install of Windows 10, so we are missing a lot of stuff there. Uh, as I said, there are a lot more functions that she is able to perform. Unfortunately, obviously on a tablet is perhaps the most restricted, but it was the easiest way to get her installed for the moment. Um, Hopefully, uh, we'll have a chance in the future to come back and visit her with a phone.